Welcome to the Filthy Badge series. Police officers take an oath to protect and serve. Where we go precinct to precinct, finding the dirtiest cops. Colonel Delhi joined the force in 2015, but tonight he's in jail charged with rape. Some officers across the country are misusing that authority. And now, the accused. Kevin Gano is charged with two counts of rape. He faces up to 20 years in prison for both charges if convicted. While with the force, Gano was a member of the Community Opioid Outreach Program, a collaboration between Lowell Police and Fire, Lowell House Rehabilitation Center, and Trinity MS. Gano and other COOP staff would visit recent overdose victims at home to help them find treatment. Gano is accused of raping the teen who was addicted to heroin at the time three times within two months in 2016. So says Thomas Brandt. Thomas Brandt is deputy chief of the Middlesex District Attorney's Child Protection Unit. According to Brandt, the first time the alleged victim claimed Grano visited her in the tent, she was living alone along the railroad tracks in Law, and he forced himself on her. The alleged victim claimed the other two incidents occurred in a tent along a deserted path. After each alleged rape, the victim reported that Bruno tossed her cash and told her to get help for her addiction, Brant said during the arraignment. Bruno, a bicycle patrol officer and a 19-year veteran of the department, pleaded not guilty to the charges during his 2019 arraignment. Norma Dean has said, in the past that his client denies the incidents took place and that Grineau has no prior criminal record. Following the allegations, Grineau, a resident of Pelham, New Hampshire, was initially placed on administrative leave from the Lower Police Department. He was then placed on unpaid leave after he was charged in 2019. Grineau's salary the fiscal year prior to his arrest was $71,000. Lower Police Superintendent confirmed that Grano remains on unpaid leave. In an interview following Grano's arraignment, Richardson said that, I was astonished and very disappointed when I heard these allegations. Again, he will have his day in court. We have to let the system work its way through. Following Grano's arraignment in 2019, First Assistant Clerk Magistrate Daniel Flattery released Grano without bail. On the condition, he wears a GPS tracking device to keep away from and have no contact with the alleged victim and witness. Brent said that the GPS tracking device order has since been removed and vacated after Grano went nearly two years with no violation. Grano awaits trial, and if he's convicted, he faces up to 40 years in prison. You know. We're just trying to save lives, brother. That's veteran Lowell police officer Kevin Garneau. The 49-year-old now finds himself on the other side of the law. Prosecutors say that 49-year-old Kevin Garneau sexually assaulted the teenager multiple times in 2016. 16-year-old homeless girl told investigators that Garneau went to her tent and told her there were warrants out for her arrest and said he would not arrest her in exchange for sexual favors. The victim accuses Garneau of raping her three times within a two-month period. Back in 2016, claiming he even threw cash at her and told her to get help after each alleged incident. Fast forward to January of this year, that's when authorities learned of the allegations and that's when they launched an investigation. Kevin Garneau was arraigned in court after a grand jury indicted him on two counts of rape. Garneau has been part of a task force reaching out to homeless people and drug addicts, and he's been featured in several news reports, including on News Center 5. Some of them have been addicts um, that are in recovery, and this might have been a one time relapse. That's when they're most vulnerable, so we'll encourage them. It's just trying to find what path works best for them to go down. Garneau's lawyer says he denies all of the charges. He is currently on un paid leave uh, after today's hearing as again his lawyer said that he denies all of the charges that he is facing and the police chief says he will allow the process to go forward.